Well, in Friday's business report, U.S. stocks opened lower to, the, to close out another record-breaking news week, or rather week. Is Africa 54's business correspondent, Jill Marlon Reno. She's reporting from the NASDAQ market site in New York. U.S. stocks opened a touch lower on Friday, although we are still on track for the sixth week up in the major averages. However, if the S&P 500 closes lower today, that would be the first back-to-back -back loss since the end of January. But let's put some things into context and see where we're coming from. Just this week, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above the 21,000 mark it topped after surging over 300 points on Wednesday, which only took 24 trading sessions to get to 21,000 from 20,000. That's the second fastest 1,000 point move in the Dow. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq Comp also closed at record highs on Wednesday. That was their 21st and 28th record close respectively. This is all since the election of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency. So as you can see today, a pullback is not an unhealthy thing as investors are wisely taking some profits off the table. It could also offer investors more attractive entry points for those that missed out on some of the rally. Today, traders will wait to hear from Janet Yellen and other Federal Reserve officials looking for confirmation of a March interest rate hike. A rate hike now appears to be viewed by many investors as a vote of confidence in the economy as opposed to the past, where it was seen as a potential market derailment. The futures market now prices in about a 77% chance of a March hike. Note that the all-important employment report comes out on Friday. This will be the last major piece of jobs data before the FOMC meeting on March 14th and 15th. From the NASDAQ market site in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino, and this is Africa 54 Business News.